I'm proud of myself. <laughs> These onions are killing me. <laughs> For today's dinner, we are going to attempt to make sushi. This girl does not know how to cook, so <laughs> I need to teach her some lessons. Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell, I'm in the kitchen. In this week's video, I'm going to be taking you guys throughout a week of dinners. I have recently graduated, so I have a lot more free time on my hands. So I've been wanting to learn how to cook some more. So all these recipes that I'll be sharing with you guys are very beginner friendly. Today I'm going to make spaghetti squash for dinner, which spaghetti squash is a really easy recipe to follow and if you guys have not tried spaghetti squash it is really good my mom used to make this all the time and i really liked it i'm trying to eat healthier and one of the ways i'm going to be doing that is by incorporating more vegetables into my diet and squash is a vegetable that i like like i like how spaghetti squash tastes so try this out today <laughs> Squash is in the oven, now I'm going to work on the sauce. Ground beef. I'm just going to use this sauce. The sauce is really good. We're not that advanced yet where I'm going to make my own sauce, but I'm going to go ahead and add some ground beef for you that went to the store earlier today. I went out in the storm that we're in right now. I got my gloves on. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to take a little bit of this. This is a lot for you, but too much. I guess we're making burgers or something tomorrow. So I'm going to add some black pepper. So, um, what is this? I guess this is a team effort now. To add whatever we have. <laughs> Be careful on the salt. Oh, go ahead. We find the Prophet Sallallahu say things that are like very powerful about knowing how to behave and how to act around people. He says things like, in the Maburithdu, he would tell me when Makanam al Akhlaq. He says these statements like, I was only sent in Nama or Ithtu, meaning that I was only sent. The only reason why Allah sent me as a messenger was to perfect good character. That's an amazing statement because we know that the Prophet ﷺ was sent with the Quran. We know that he was sent with all these miracles, teaching his sunnah. We know all of that. So how then does the Prophet ﷺ summarize all of that into good character? Well... The reality is that when a person acts upon what they know from Islam, they are supposed to become more beautiful. That's the idea. When we gain spirituality, we're supposed to become more patient. And so the things that frustrated us before don't frustrate us now. We're supposed to become more gentle, right? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran, he mentions to Musa alayhi salam that when you go to Fir'aun, the greatest tyrant of them all, right? One of the greatest tyrants in the history of humanity, Allah instructed Musa to speak. Are you ready for your dinner? Yes. <laughs> All right, so I was telling you guys about squash. Um, I put my own meat in the spaghetti sauce, but I just got the spaghetti sauce from Target. Um, Bismillah ar-Rahim. Let's do a taste test. I'm scared it might not be mm. good. It's good, actually. Wait. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> Freeth helped me a little bit with the beef, but we just eyeballed. What'd you put? Black pepper, cayenne. Mm hmm like salt, oh, I think. A red pepper. A oh, red Is pepper. It? Yeah. Wow. This actually turned out good. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's really basic spaghetti pasta, but I've never made beef before. I thought it was going to be like chewy or something. <laughs> but I guess when it's ground beef, it's easier than like actual beef. Yeah, true. And then I just warmed up some breadsticks. These don't look the best, but they taste so good. Yeah, garlic bread. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, garlic bread breadsticks. <laughs> Same thing, right? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna eat our meal. See you guys for tomorrow's dinner. I am excited for today's dinner. We are making in and out style burgers and I'm going to try to make animal style fries. I went to Trader Joe's earlier and I found this sauce, which I think 
is going to be like secret sauce. I'm 99% sure that this sauce tastes like the In-N-Out secret sauce. If it does not, I mean, I hope it's still good, but I'll let you guys know. I'm really excited about today's dinner, and I think for this too, we're gonna end up using the rest of the ground beef <laughs> that we got. So yeah, I got all my ingredients. I'm gonna start off by chopping up the onion to, um, what's the word? Like brown the onions for the animal style fries. Fred's gonna work on the ground beef, like making the burger patties. I think all we have to do is like put two eggs in there and some breadcrumbs. I don't know exactly how many breadcrumbs to put, but I bought panko, panko breadcrumbs from Trader Joe's. I also got minced garlic. I thought it'd just be easier than buying garlic and doing it myself. You know, I'm lazy. Taking the shortcuts where I can, as I am still a beginner. Speak to him how? Like a boss? No. What do you say? Speak to him with Paulin Layin. Speak to him with a lenient, light speech, right? So the commentators they talk about this and they say, why was Musa alayhi salam instructed to speak to? The Are you grossed out by the meat? A little bit, huh? <laughs> Someone's grossed out. Is it done? No. Keep going. <laughs> Fir'aun. Fir'aun, who's like the worst of, of people, why was he instructed to speak to him so lightly? And the Mufassidin, they say that if a person comes with bad character, it doesn't matter what they have in their heart. Like, it doesn't matter what you have. If you come with bad character, no one's going to want to talk to you. No one's going to want to deal with you. It doesn't matter if you have the secret to happiness itself. People are going to be like, I don't want to engage with this person. They make me feel low about myself, right? And so we are, inshallah, going to be going on this journey. And this journey uh, is uh, not always going to be... We're going to do a taste test uh, of the fries first or the burger? Mm. Burger? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Bismillah. Good job. What about the fries? I need a fork. <laughs> <laughs> So we got the cheese here, the sauce, the grilled onions. How is it? I can't believe you gave me two patties in my burger. It's a double double. I want to be so full tonight. We don't have to go in and out anymore. Mm-hmm. Yeah, probably so. We go at home the whole True. way. I'm afraid to have to go to In-N-Out. I've never tried an In-N-Out burger, so I don't even know. Is this what it tastes like? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I just exposed you. <laughs> exposed. For today's dinner, I am on my own today. No help from Fareed. He is not home, but hopefully before he comes home, I'm trying to finish the dinner, inshallah. So I'm thinking of doing rice and chicken. I also have Brussels sprouts in the fridge. I need to make something with those before they go bad. I have never made Brussels sprouts before. I don't even know what Brussels sprouts taste like. Like I've never tried them, but Fred said they were good. So he's the one that bought those. So I'll try to cook those. I'm going to start off with air frying the chicken. I marinated it like I want to say like three or four hours back. When I marinate my chicken, I just add like the most random stuff. Um, I don't measure. I just put yogurt and a bunch of random spices and it usually ends up working out nine times out of ten. comes with bad character, it doesn't matter what they have in their heart. Like, it doesn't matter what you have. If you come with bad character, no one's going to want to talk to you. No one's going to want to deal with you. It doesn't matter if you have the secret to happiness itself. People are going to be like, I don't want to engage with this person. They make me feel low about myself, right? And so we are, inshallah, going to be going on this journey. And this journey uh, is uh, not always going to be comfortable. And the reason why it's not going to be comfortable is because I'm going to advise everybody now that when we read through this book together, inshallah, and when we- I made the dinner all by myself today. No help from him. Uh -oh. And we're gonna give you guys a taste test. I feel like my presentation's a little bit better than usual. It kind of uh, fell apart okay, a little. Like five out of 10. <laughs> Just cause you're gonna do it. <laughs> I feel like it looks exactly how you would do it. Okay, I'm gonna try the rice and Brussels sprouts and then I'll try the chicken. Mmm, they're so soft. Yeah. The rice and the bread, so the sprouts are pretty good. <laughs> I mean, it's rice, you can't really go wrong with the rice. The chicken is good, tastes good. It's a little bit dry. I don't like it. A tad like, bit. A tad bit. I overcooked it a little, but it's not burnt, at least. Mm. True. It's a little dry. 
I think if I cooked it like two minutes less in the air fryer, it would have been perfect. I always get scared about like not cooking my meat enough, so I'll just like overcook it, but I need a temperature thing, I think. Because I'd rather have overcooked meat than undercooked meat, but that's not good. But it is not too dry when you mix everything together. And I feel like if we had some sort of a sauce, then it would be perfect. This balances it a little bit, but... Yeah, the softness of the Brussels sprouts. I did a good job with the Brussels sprouts. Fred's um, a little hangry, so he's not really talking too much. <laughs> I'm taking even longer to make the dinner because I'm recording it and then he has to wait for it. <laughs> so sure. he's like, let me just eat this in peace. <laughs> We're gonna finish our meal. Since I have rice left over from yesterday's meal, I thought for today's meal I'd take it a little easy on myself and just do garbanzo beans and rice. But it should taste pretty good. I got cans. I did not soak them overnight but ideally you could get garbanzo beans and soak them overnight and then they'd be ready but i went to trader joe's and got some cans i think i'll just be using one can let's get to it we cover these these finer points these details it's very important for us not not to fall into the greatest trap of shaitan on the journey of self-improvement and what is that trap that trap is the minute you hear something negative you think of someone else that's the greatest trap of Shaitan. At the moment you hear something negative, like Imam Ghazali says, people- These onions are killing me. No, try. People should not be like this. You're like, man, that's just like Ahmed, right? Or that's just like Fatima. Like, that's the greatest trap. Shaitan will make you, and your nefs, remember your nefs is like the greatest lawyer you've ever seen or you've never seen. It will make you think of everyone else. And the allegations will come flying out of your heart. You'll start thinking, man, I remember this and this and this and this. And then when it comes to remind This was definitely the fastest meal out of all the meals I've made so far this week. And I'm so excited to try this. Um, I'm just going to do a little taste test right now because I am starving. I'm so hungry. So I just warmed up rice from yesterday. And I'm just going to put the chickpeas on top of it the final result of what I made. Can you guys see like the steam coming out? I'm just gonna do a really quick taste test. I'm so hungry today and this smells so good. I would never put like black pepper as my seasoning and I was talking to my mom about it and she was like, it's an Avian thing. Like Avians love black pepper. So if you're Avian, I'm curious to know if you use black pepper in like all your seasoning because whenever I'm cooking something, Freed's like, please add some black pepper in there. And I don't really care for black pepper like that, but I added it to the chickpeas, so let's see how it tastes. I feel like I'm going to burn my mouth if I eat this. Mmm. I would definitely recommend making this. It is so simple. Alright guys, <laughs> today I'm taking over the kitchen. This girl does not know how to cook, so I need to teach her some lessons. Uh, I do. Get your notebook, take some notes. Okay, this is going to be some steak. I got it from Halal Meats Market. She went with me. So, we're marinating it. Okay, so, I took the bone out for her. She wants it, how do you want it? Well done. And then mine is gonna be medium well. It has the bone in here. Oh, that's why it looks different? Yes. I see. And you're reminding your own self of those times where you did that, you'll start to come up with exceptions. Well, it's different. With me, it's something it's unique. It's my story. People don't realize. The reality is that the only benefit that we take from reading books on improving ourselves is when we put ourselves in the hot seat. That's the only benefit. Otherwise, well, what benefit is there? There's no benefit pointing out flaws in somebody else. There's none. What's going on here, Fareed? <laughs> is this um, what you resorted to covering the pan? Yes. All right, I'm just gonna watch from afar and I guess be his camera woman. <laughs> He's on the move. He's doing something else. What's going on? Oh, I see broccoli. <laughs> He's air frying the broccoli? Just a little bit. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna leave him to it. You do you. <laughs> so much for being a better chef than me. <laughs> what is up with all this on the side that you made? Burnt broccoli, some cilantro. It's not burnt, what is it called? <laughs> Toasted? Yes. Or, um, what's the other word for it? Crispy. Air fried. <laughs> All right. This piece of meat looks interesting. <laughs> I don't know. We need to get different meat next time. What is this meat? Is this not for steak? I thought it was. 
<laughs> Until you cooked it? Yeah. All right. I mean, it doesn't look too bad. I'm excited to taste it. What's up with this? What? The one piece. We got half a glass of soda. Fanta. Fanta. Okay, three. Let's do a taste test. How's it cutting? It's actually not too bad. Definitely done well, right? Or well done. Well done. <laughs> well done. <laughs> <laughs> Should I grab some broccoli? Nah, <laughs> Is it a little chewy? A little bit. <laughs> no, no. A little is okay. okay. That's not too much. I'm gonna try it. Mmm. -hmm. A little chewy. Not bad though. But the flavor is good. Mm -hmm. good Alright, see you guys. We're gonna do better next time. Stay tuned. For today's dinner, we are going to attempt to make sushi. So we came to this um, Asian market. It's called H Mart. So we're gonna see if we can find some of the ingredients we need, like imitation crab and what else? <laughs> Green onions, imitation crab, avocado. You know, if you point out that someone else is ugly, you don't get prettier. Like, you know what I mean? Like, just not how it works, right? There's no addition by subtraction there. The only value, and you shouldn't be calling people ugly anyways, but the only value in this gathering is when we can turn the mirror on ourselves and we can start to look inward. There's a statement that's narrated to the Prophet in which he is narrated to have said, in aratta and tadkur ayuba ghayrika, fadkur ayuba nafsika. The moment you feel within yourself the impulse to remind somebody or to make mention <laughs> Our trip to get the ingredients that we needed <laughs> took a lot longer than we both anticipated but I'm so excited for today's dinner and to make sushi. Sushi is like one of my all-time favorite things. I hope it turns out good. I have pretty high expectations. Like I feel like I'll be able to make sushi. Like it doesn't seem too hard. I have every single ingredient I need. I even got the sashimi salmon. So. I don't have to wash it, it's already cut up into like little pieces and stuff. I couldn't find like regular salmon or else I would have just gotten that and like cut it myself. All I could find were like these weird steak salmons and they just looked weird. And it's not the kind of salmon that I'm used to getting so I was like I'm just gonna get this because this is the only other things I found and I don't want to make a trip to another store. So yeah, like I said, me and Freed are both starving so I'm just gonna get started on this. I have all my ingredients and I got the bamboo roller. I already had the sushi, so I'm good on that. I even have the tabioko. I love this stuff. I'll probably like freeze it because I'm pretty sure... Oh, it says used by April 13th. Okay, I guess this like lasts for a while. Of a flaw within someone else, remind yourself of your own flaws. In the Ihya, Imam Ghazali quotes a narration that's attributed to Isa. Jesus, Aisana, peace be upon him, where he says that notice that the hand that is pointing has one finger going out and three coming back in. And so for every time you find something wrong in someone else, remind yourself of three things wrong with yourself. Now, what happens when you do this practically? This all sounds great for, for Twitter and Instagram, right? Like someone's going to put this on TikTok tonight with some dude in the background, right? Don't do that. I swear to God, if I feed myself on TikTok, I'm going to come find you. Ooh okay minus the fact that everything's coming out of the side not bad okay y'all we got tired we're not gonna put the salmon on top today but for lunch tomorrow or maybe dinner i'll make the actual roll with the salmon for now i'm just too tired but i put all like the other stuff inside of this i'm just not patient enough to empty out the oven since i use it as my storage i cook the sushi <laughs> again um this is part two to trying to make the sushi i am really excited and i'm also very hungry it's like 7 p.m right now i hope this won't take too long i feel like it'll just take like 30 minutes to put together so i'm just going to get straight to it <laughs> i have a special set of skills okay so what's the point of that the point is when you practically act on this when you behave like that you know what happens you stop talking about people you stop mentioning people, you stop thinking about that, you and then eventually your heart stops even feeling this way towards people. You know, there's stages, right? When backbiting, but backbiting doesn't start on the lips, it starts in the heart. The liba doesn't start here, it starts here. 
the thought, the impulse, the idea has to grow. It has to be fertilized. And unfortunately, it's like a rotten plant. It has to be, fer- and then eventually it's like poison. It takes over until eventually, subhanAllah, and notice a lot, even in his creation of us, he put our heart under our mouth, right? So the heart eventually leads. It has to go up the cavity through and then eventually out the lips and then you can't take it back. So the beginning of all of these cures, even though it manifests on the limbs of the, of the body, it all starts here.